Nah, yeah, I like doing auto tune shit. I like making, I like making mainstream. I like making different type of music. I like making rock music, all types of. Shit. I'm working on this project right now. I got like girls singing on it. And shit. That's the type of be coming on. Like also, Eminem types. Do you think your audience is accepting of that? Oh yeah, I got a real cold fan base. I go a lot. A lot of underground rappers that was popping in 2020 wood, they not really just too relevant though, but but my numbers, my numbers still up. Say the glide since 2020 wood. I had a few hits, but that's a few hits. Like it ain't it ain't been a, it ain't been enough millions to say I consistently had millions. You feel me? Any other views outside of that still being the same type. Interesting. What do you feel like the current state of the underground uh, scene right now? I think it's interesting. I think I think it's watered down now, though. Nobody talking about shit. I was probably like one of the last people in the underground to come through talking about shit. Baby mamas, homies dying, all types of shit. Yeah. Really rapping about that, singing about that type of Because a lot of like underground shit, like SoundCloud rap, and you really think about what it was... A lot of it was just like dudes who were talking about a bunch of guns and drugs in a lot of cases. Well, the drugs were probably real, but you know they definitely have not done any of this like violence that they were writing songs about. And that is kind of, you know, there's, there's a lot of rappers from that era that I won't name who are basically famous for putting out an image of themselves that wasn't real. And at some point, people kind of figure that out. Yeah, no, yeah, most definitely. It's a lot of little kids running this shit right now. But I think it's just going to get younger and younger as time goes on, you know. It's like, who would you rather trust, you know, with your car? Uh, a minor or, you know, somebody you know that's grown adult, that type of shit. The under, I'm just really in the state and in the hands of, like, young right now. So we don't know where it can go. They can do something good with it. They can f*** up. Yeah, it's weird to be an old head in the underground. It's like it doesn't really work in the long run it feels like you're, you're supposed to like succeed out of it i seen somebody made a whole video analyzing dj fat and the whole like theme of it was like basically that like he should have graduated out of this shit at a certain point and i'm like man maybe he just with the music he just hasn't been bored of it yet yeah i know for real dj fat he og in this shit. you know yo sock not been on a long time i feel like it's not organic as what it was no more i feel like it's not enough you know uh, how could I put it like just heart and soul in this music shit anymore in this underground shit I can smoke on here right like, yeah of course yeah. but yeah so like as far as the underground and shit you uh cause I, I seen an interview where you were kind of saying that uh like I think it was you was going at Xavier so based cause you wasn't really with the type of music he he making and shit you feel like he, he's a part of the problem like he's He's one of the kids that you're saying is like too young, really not putting out substance, and really just, you know what I'm saying, just rapping. Uh, I respect what he doing. He he a humble kid for sure. Uh that was just one of my rants. I'm doing uh, like I grew up listening to 50, Wayne, Eminem, all types of sh I feel like, you know, the the focus of rap shifted. First it was talking about doing all types of gangster sh talking about your struggles now. Nah, so yeah, because you do got like more of an old soul. Like, how did you get more, uh, because like a lot of the kids nowadays, they're not even listening and checking for Wayne, you know, Eminem and shit. That's so, like, where did you get that side of uh, music from? Like, who put you on the music like that? Just growing up, my pops, for real. Just growing up. The narrative of rap used to be different. I used to look at, this shit. Used to look at it as a coping mechanism. Okay, we're, we're, we were just talking about Xavier so based, and uh, oh, okay. him and Xavier were alive. Recently, saw that, yeah. and they were kind of like arguing and shit. But you were getting on him about rapping about being gay or I think bisexual. I don't know what it is, but uh, how do you feel about that? Cause like that's just not what that's that's it's just not what rap. Like you can do what you do. I don't really care. Like you don't piss me off. Like to be a phobic, you have to be scared of something. Like I'm not scared of it. I just think rap comes from something better than that. You know. Not like underground rap. rap. I feel like I mean, underground I mean, rap is but, is a home for the gay community. <laughs> yeah, but that's what it turned into. You feel me? It ain't nothing I could do to change it, but that was just me being on a little rant type. Shit. It was just something that grinded my gears type. Shit. I don't like how this type of blow up when 
hip hop is supposed to be a platform for people to explain a struggle, poverty, explain all types of shit. Like, where'd a lot of that? What could be more of a struggle than having to be gay in the rap world, though, you know? <laughs> Can't be easy. Damn, you is right. You is right. You is right. Hmm. I wouldn't. I wouldn't know. It is not. <laughs> <laughs> I was done.